If you're getting ready to move a parent into independent or assisted living, it is a daunting task. And there are many mistakes that are made. But Tamisa Lydon, who is a licensed realtor, she specializes in senior relocation. She's here to help. And they actually call you a senior move manager. Correct. Right? What, what is that so that we all understand? There is a national association of senior move managers, and we help families do every task that's imaginable from consultation through if you're a realtor to close of escrow on their properties. But there are so many tasks involved in the process to move your loved one. Um, I got to tell you something. If anyone has a loved one who is suffering from any kind of dementia, you need to be thinking about this now. Absolutely. Uh, is this one of the biggest mistakes that people make? And, and honestly, I wouldn't even call it a mistake because life is hard dealing with and caring for someone who has this problem. So you, you tend to forget the big picture, but this is the big picture, isn't it? Correct. There are 110 million baby boomers and seniors in the country today, and somebody is thinking of moving their parents or moving themselves. And it's an, it is a daunting task. Mm. And three mistakes you should avoid is, first of all, you, you have to have a plan. Mm. And you need to put that plan into place early right. so that you don't get in a crisis situation. And I had that experience mm. with my parents. Right. We didn't have a plan and the crisis came. And I'll, I'll never regret, never stop regretting the fact that I had to make decisions for their personal belongings mm. and what to keep and what to discard. Mm. And that should be done ahead of time. Right. Things should be taken care of. So you went through this personally. This, this really is, is close to you. And you, this Very. is why you decided to really take on this task to help others who are in the same situation. Exactly. For all those children my right. age sure. or thereabouts that have parents that may need assistance, it's best to sit down and make a plan of action before time. Okay, what's number two? And the next one is don't do it alone. Mm. There are senior move managers out there across the country that can help you. They're professional. They've been through this before. They can help you to eliminate the personal emotional involvement. So the physical, mental, and emotional involvement can be eased. So mm -hmm. you can do it without pain and strain. Th that's good to hear because that's really the one thing that you feel is never going to go away because you're exactly. constantly doing something exactly. to help this person. Right. Your life becomes secondary. Exactly. And the next thing you need to do is just never, never, never give up. Mm. This is not doom and gloom. This mm. is not the end of the road. This is not being put out to pasture. This is literally the next living chapter of your life. You right. need to embrace it and the family needs to embrace it with a positive attitude. Once my parents were moved, they were wondering why they hadn't done it years earlier because they in a safer, more social environment, and life starts to thrive again. How do you know what a good assisted living community is and maybe one that, that isn't such a good one? How do you differentiate? Well, there's a lot of research, but I think you individually as a family and the senior themselves have to make a visit. And you really want to try the food out at each place because that's key. Yeah. Because every meal is served, and sure. that's, that's important to everyone to have that good meal. What if you're getting flack from your parent and they don't want to do it? but you know that they have to. They have to be introduced to the idea, at least even in terms of daycare, for starters. That, that's the hardest part, and that's why as a family you need to sit and discuss what are the safety concerns that I have as your child, mm. and I don't want to have to worry about you. So if you look at it that way, and then you start dealing with the stuff, right. because the biggest thing is they have fear of losing their independence, that's right. and they don't know what to do with all their stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you can have that conversation prior to, and, and get something resolved early, then it's a smooth transition because it can be an adventure to look forward to that's positive uh, from your lips to God's ears thank you so much great tips and for more information you can reach Tamisa on her website seniormovehelp.com or go to our website daytimeonline.tv and we will direct you thank you so much thank for you very here. much appreciate it be right back with more daytime on the news